Hi there, everyone. Hope you're all well, staying safe. New project. This is inspired by what you're looking at on the screen, donuts. Um, it's a South Korean ceramicist, Jae Young Kim. You can see his name in the bottom left-hand corner. He's made these incredible donuts, which you can't eat, unfortunately, but they're inspired by his time that he lived in the United States. They're only for display, but um, they're definitely in the pop art era, or inspired by the pop art era. You can see he's got some crazy cool looking designs. Um, a very simple idea, but has led to a lot of success for this artist. All right, that is the inspiration today. So, I know you guys have tablets, so we're going to come over here to our computer. And if you go to the bottom left corner of your screen and look for 3D paint, you should be able to find it. You want to open up the screen to just like this. I've clicked on my brushes, but I need to go to my shapes. And when you do that, you'll see options on the right. Left click on the circle, come back to your canvas, pick up, drag and drop it. Click outside of it. Whoop. And then I went back again, left click on the circle and drag the cursor across your screen by holding the left side of my pad and me using my right finger to move it. Oop, too big. So right now I'm playing with the scale. Play with the scale by moving this cursor right here. Make it big or small. You don't need it that big. All right, so I'm happy with that. Basic donut, you could keep it like this if you want. I'm gonna show you a little bit more as far as your uh, tools go. I'm gonna click on my brushes, which I just did, and it brings you, or gives you these options right here. Then I'm gonna click on the marker, come down, pick black. I'm gonna go back to my screen. Make it look, look like a bite shape coming out of it. Again, you wanna try and make this interesting. Then I'm gonna go back to my eraser. <clears throat> Make the bite appear as real. So get rid of the line on the outside. And that is your basic donut shape. And I just click back into the pencil. How do you make it 3D? At the top of the screen, if you move your mouse over these selections, you'll see the different things happen. One of them being 3D shapes. Click on that. Be careful here, the mouse gets real sensitive when you move across your drawing. I'm gonna click on, <clears throat> if you come down here on the right hand side of your page, you'll see models, which are fun to use too. 3D objects, 3D doodle, okay? Sharp edge, soft edge. I'm gonna click on soft edge. And then I'm gonna start on one end of my donut and I'm gonna hold the left side of my keypad down, touchpad down, and my right finger is going around the outside of this donut as best I can. Don't let the left finger off the left side of that touchpad as I draw around. Try and copy that bite shape as best I can. Going around the inner circle of the donut. And back to where I started. Once the lines connect, it's gonna make it 3D. And it picks the color with which you drew your lines. So I drew black, all right. So we can turn it. Um, it looks a little skinny. So on the left-hand side of my page, um, you'll see some squares. You can drag your squares to make it a little bigger. Up here, I'm dragging this square to make it inflated. So it looks like there's air going right into it. 
And when I'm done, I can make it a little smaller. All right. So I like that size. To get rid of the background drawn, click on brushes. And then I go over here to canvas. It shows what's behind my 3D drawing. Show the canvas. Nope, don't want to show it no more. You could have a black donut. Not a problem. I'm going to make mine, after I click on brushes, it brings me back to my choices. I'm going to make mine brown to begin with. Uh, yeah, brown. Then I'm going to come up here to my paint bucket and then click inside my donut. Oh, didn't work. Mm -hmm. And it made it brown. Woo. Now, underneath here, because I'm working in 3D, you can see I get to twist it a little bit. I'm going to add some frosting to it. So I'm going to pick a color. Let's go yellow. I'm going to pick my spray can. My spray can set at 75 pixels for thickness, which is not very thick, and 25% opacity, which is strength, okay, of the spray. And I hold my left side of my touchpad down, and my right finger is drawn on top of the donut. Now, this, once you're done or get to this part, you pretty much have your, your 3D object, all right? Um, but I'd like to add some jimmies. So I'm going to go to my marker and I'm going to pick, let's say a light blue. And my thickness on my marker, it's set to five pixels and 100% thickness. And to draw are your jimmies, you just hold the left side of my keypad down and I just drag my right finger to create jimmies. You could play around with shapes, add whatever you wanted. And if you didn't want to bite out your donut, that's fine, but I'd like to make it 3D. And I've showed you a couple of ways to decorate it. I'm not done yet. I'm going to pick another color purple for my jimmies. Um, go to oil brush. Maybe make my thickness really kind of thin. Maybe make it 10 pixels, see what happens. Oh, it looks like texture, Jimmy, something like that. Again, you don't have to do Jimmy's, but I would like you to decorate it after you make it 3D. And if you miss a step, you can just go back and play this video again. But this is one way for a lot of people to use color and might as well figure out what you can do on some of these machines. All right, let me check that out. Pretty happy with that. So again, add as much detail as you can, similar to Zhe Young Kim. When you're done, come over to the left side of your screen, click menu. Save copy as, well, let's see, image. You want to save it as an image. It's going to ask you where do you want to save it to. This PC, let's click, put it in pictures. Give it a name. Donut. Save. And then when you go to send it to me, you can open up your email, click an attachment look on the computer and look in your pictures to send it to me as an attachment. 
Can't wait to see what you do. Have fun. I'll be back. Bye now.